Welcome to Sharper's Gaming, and today we're back with some more Pokemon VGC 2018. Of course, this is pre Ultra Sun Ultra Moon, so we're not necessarily certain on everything that will be available for 2018, but this is kind of a guess. Pretty good guess, I would say, as to that. Um, I'm thinking on this team, the only thing that uh, is still up in the air would be Earth Power and a Hydreigon and Tailwind of Suicune, because those are move tutor moves, and we don't know which move tutors are in the game. They will be there, but we don't know which ones. But we're back once again with the Swoobat team. Uh, Swoobat in Electric Terrain with the Electric Seed, plus Tapu Koko for that terrain, Choice Scarf High Dragon, Mega Lucario, Salazzle, and Suicune. Um, I mentioned last time how I don't really like this team, and I think it could use some updates. I'm not going to bother updating it, just because this is going to be its last video. I'm going to make a new team for next week. Uh, if you guys have suggestions for future teams, by the way, leave them in the comment section below. I really like seeing them. I've gotten a lot of good suggestions so far, and I definitely want to try out a few of those. Um, but yeah, I just, I didn't, I didn't feel like it was worth changing it up enough. I don't, I don't know. I mean, Subat's, Subat's cool when you can get it to be used, but I don't think it's amazing. Maybe we could do, you could do a Chalk team instead of Cresselia, it'd be Subat, and the Tapu Coco would be the six member. I don't know. You can try it out, but, um, like, because like Mega Metagross or Mega Kangaskhan or even Mega Salamence could take place of Lucario, but I want to try those things out on other teams, so I didn't necessarily want to switch this one up and be taking away Pokemon I'd be using in the future. We could always use them again, but I don't like reusing Pokemon if I can avoid it. I obviously do it a lot, but I try to avoid it. So let's hop into this here. We'll get one more thing off. Plus, Mega Lucario didn't get to get a second chance in the um, last video so he's gonna get his second chance again today we're at 1427 so we'll be, have some lower ranked opponents which will probably help this team my one like grouping of hair there we have Gi Gyu 1411 player from Canada and look at that one look at that guy <laughs> I've just got too much hair now is more hair more problems you know what I'm saying but anyway we have a ooh a Gallade but sharp a Sylveon, which we have not seen in a long time. I think it's a really underrated Pokemon. I did get reduced in its pixelate ability, but Rotom Wash, Tapu Koko, and Latios. Really scary team. I'm assuming Mega Gallade. It's two electric types. So Suicune really doesn't like that. Um, Hydreigon though isn't terrible here. <clears throat> Hydreigon is not terrible here. Lucario. Lucario isn't awful, but it's not great at the same time. Uh, we go Subat Tapu Koko, actually. Yeah, Subat Tapu Koko isn't terrible here. I actually kind of want to lead that. <clears throat> Have Hydreigon and Lucario on the back. The only problem with this lead will be if he leaves Bisharp. He might not even bring Latios here. <clears throat> but who knows who really does know <clears throat> excuse me no gunky all right so pokemon trainer gia how how little you gal guy goo guy i think guy is actually what it is on um, top of coco bisharp no no not the bisharp so we'll get the surge up our surge went first, so at at the worst, we're speed tying this Tapu Koko. Is that also a Electric Seed? Ooh, he's got an Electric Seed, but on the Tapu Koko. So I'm going to protect my Subat this turn, so I don't want to get bodied. And then we're going to Dazzling Gleam these two. Subat actually, like, absolutely hates these two going up against them. Um, so it's going to be a pickle for sure. It will be a pickle for sure. Swoobat protects. And Bisharp goes for Sucker Punch into Swoobat. Dazzling Gleam will connect with both Pokemon. We did outspeed his Tapu Koko again. It doesn't guarantee that we're outspeeding. We did 50% though. We see Hidden Power from the opposing Tapu Koko. Probably Hidden Power Ice. Well, if he's going to try and Sucker Punch me again, this is a perfect time to call mind. And we Dazzling Gleam once again because it double KOs here. I like it. Sucker Punch, gonna fail. He would try to Sucker Punch Zubat again. And we did outspeed every time. So either we got really lucky with those, um, with those speed ties, or or we were just faster. Then that Tapu Koko does have to be timid, so probably, maybe not just invested 
in speed all the way. So we get that free call mind on the Subat, and one of Subat, two of Subat's biggest threats are gone. So we looking pretty clean right now. Plus two in defense, plus two in special defense, plus two special attack. Subat might be out here again. It's been a little while since I've gotten a good Subat sweep. I've tried using this team off screen. That's why we're so low, because I just keep losing. I can never get Subat to work as well as I got it to work in the very first match. Sometimes it does okay, but... For the most part, not really. So Sylveon and Latios are going to be the final two Pokemon for my opponent. Um, here I'm just going to sword power the Sylveon. And I'm going to protect the Latios to try and draw out a uh, protect from it as well. Because I don't want to take a Hyper Voice with my Tapu Koko if I don't have to. It's actually Mega Latios. I don't know Latios' speed here. I think it's slower than Tapu Koko. But I don't know if Mega is or not. I get the protect off of Tapu Koko though, so at least by one turn of getting KO'd by Hyper Voice. Swoobat is faster than Latios, so that means my Tapu Koko will be as well. Stored, stored power does 50% to the uh, Sylveon, and we see Psychic come out from Latios, and Hidden Power... Is that Ice as well? What Hidden Power is that? That wasn't super effective. Okay, you do you, buddy. Typically, Sylveon's Hidden Power is going to be something like... Um, Ground for Heatran. I was I used uh, Hidden Power Ground Sylveon in 2015 for Heatran because that was really the only thing that walled it at that point. But yeah, so another Sword Power will KO the Sylveon, and then the Dazzling Gleam is going to do a lot of damage to this Latios. A little over 50, so looking nice. And Subat moves before the Latios. We already found that out. Hiya! Now KO Sylveon. Can we go? My uh, psychic probably kills my Tapu Koko here. I was gonna say, can we can we get the clean sweep? But Tapu Koko faints to that, unfortunately. On Fort, and then we just bring in Lucario just to look scary. <clears throat> and I could give Lucario this KO. I could give him this KO with extreme speed, but I'm going to let Swoobad do it with Air Slash, Mega Evolve. Lucario's slower than Swoobat, right? I don't know. Let's go for Iron Tail. If not, then oh well. Oh well. If my opponent even lets us get these attacks off here. Couldn't let us do it. We haven't we didn't see protect at all this match from my opponent. I don't know if they had it. It is possible they don't have it, especially when you get to these lower radians. A lot of people don't Oh, we're faster, unfortunately. And we do connect, so that's gonna KO. That was super bad to kill Lucario. We give Lucario a second chance. He's like, I'm trying to I'm trying to make a name for myself. When we didn't want him to. On Fort. Young Swoobat. Young Swoo. That young Swooky. Swooky Wookie. Uh, we're gonna do at least one more battle here. Probably a third one. I've been I've been liking the three battle kind of thing. The kind of layout recently. Especially because YouTube kind of rewards the um, the longer video format now. So, going a little bit longer is actually better. It used to be, when YouTube wasn't so screwed up, like 20 minutes is better, because that was a better uh, video retention time. Like, people would watch it more, because you guys don't want to hear this. You hear it from every other YouTuber. Don't want to hear it here. We want to hear about Pokemon VGC. So, we're up to 1442 after that battle. I don't think we'll break 1500, but we do battle a 1500 rate player from United States, Texas, Texas, Angel, new to the doubles battle spot, or at least restarting, with Aerodactyl, Garchomp, Milotic, uh, Tapu Koko, Arcanine, and Tyranitar. So very reminiscent to VGC 2017, but with Tyranitar. Assuming it's a Mega Garchomp to go with the Sand Force. Suicune's actually amazing here. It's super effective to four of his six Pokemon. Plus, we can get a Tailwind support to outspeed a few things. Tapu Koko is really going to help us with the Milotic and the Aerodactyl. And to an extent, the Garchomp and the Tyranitar. And then from there, we need other Pokemon. Um, Mega Lucario isn't awful. I don't think it's amazing, but it's not awful, especially against that Tyranitar. And then we could go Subat. Is Subat worth it, though? Or do we go Hydreigon? Because Hydreigon isn't awful, either. 
I think Subat's just not going to like going up against Tyranitar is the only thing. I mean, it won't like Tapu Koko or Aerodactyl either, but the Tyranitar can do absolutely nothing to. We do have the Mega Lucario and the Suicune that can kind of go up against the Tyranitar, though. I'm going to lead Suicune, Tapu Koko. We're going to have Lucario and Subat sitting in the back. I think that's what I'm going to do. We might have wanted Hydreigon, especially because of Mega Garchomp spamming Earthquake. But who knows? We'll find out. We will find out. We have Pokemon Train Air Angel or Angel. With Aerodactyl Garchomp. I was thinking it was gonna be Garchomp, Tapu Koko, Aerodactyl, some kind of mix of the three of those. So we do see Garchomp Aerodactyl. So this lead is actually pretty good. Outside of speed time with the Aerodactyl. Outside of speed time with the Aerodactyl. So we get the pressure. I'm gonna tail one with Suicune and protect my Tapu Koko here. Well, does Hidden Power Ice KO Garchomp? I can't remember. Cause I might just do that. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna Hidden Power Ice this uh, Garchomp. It is Mega Garchomp, so he does get a little bit of bulk when you Mega Balls. I did forget about that. He just straight earthquakes though. He is Choice Scarf Garchomp. He is not Mega. Well, I'm a dead Tapu Koko then. I should have just protected. You faked me out, dude. I was really hoping we'd see a Mega Aerodactyl. I mean, Mega Garchomp. We are going to see Aerodactyl Tailwind, though, so our Tailwind is null and void. I'm just trying to remember. Well, like, I, I'm i not trying to remember because I absolutely don't know this information. But if Aerodactyl can pick up Suicune or not. But now I bring in Swoobat. And since it is Choice Scarf Garchomp, he can't do a damn thing about it. And I get a plus two defense, so the Aerodactyl can't really rock slide me either. We get the raise in defense. Who comes in for Garchomp? Either it's going to be Milotic or Tyranitar, possibly. I'm going to Scald the Garchomp slot, and we're going to call mine to Swoobat. If we can catch a Tyranitar and get a burn, that'd be really nice, because Tyranitar is going to be the big problem for Swoobat at this point. Garchomp does withdraw. For my Lodic. Okay. That's fine. We're going to see Rock Slide from that Aerodactyl. With the plus two defense. That still does a lot to poor little baby Swoobat. Swoobat does get the Calm Mind off, though. Wow, 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 wow. Get that plus two in special defense. Skull does come out from Suicune. No flinches. Can we burn this, my Lodic? No burn. I really wish there was a spot for recovery on Swoobat. It'd make the Swoobat so much nicer. I mean, I could probably just drop Air Slash for Roost. But, you know, you can only do so much, I guess. Swoobat protects. Rock Slide does come out from Aerodactyl again. I'm just trying to think, because... I have Air Slash to hit Dark Types, but what Dark Types do we see that Air Slash would actually do anything to? Okay, we get the Skull off. Because, like, Tyranitar resists Air Slash. Burn. Suicune's just not burned today, guys. I don't know. I don't know. But, um... Yeah. I'll call mine with that again. Um, we are going to be taking two hits, which is unfortunate. Unless, like, Aerodactyl misses. Because that Ice Beam is coming after us. Unless he thinks I'm going to switch out. But I'm too invested at this point. Rocks, I miss! It missed Suicune. Well, that does that does guarantee that Suicune KOs this Aerodactyl. Ooh, Ice Beam might get me now. Unless I... Oh, and I flinch, too! Oh, he scalded. In case I switch, probably. Do I take that? Of course not. If I would have got a calm mind up, I would have. But I flinched. I mean, he was due for one. He rock slid how many times it didn't flinch. So there goes Aerodactyl. Him missing the sweep couldn't really help me out, though.
Both tailwinds peter out, which is okay because I'm still able. To, oh, my Tapu Coco's gone too. We're in a pickle. Um, but yeah, so Tyranitar, Bisharp, um, resist as well. Hydreigons are really the only one we can air slash. And I think we take care of Hydreigon as it is. So I'd probably put Roost over uh, air slash at this point. Or actually, you can see Arcanine come out from my opponent, which does drop Lucario's attack stat by a stage, which kind of sucks, but. What can you do? What can you do? I'm going to take the turn of Tailwind. I think it'll be worth it. We're going to Mega Evolve Lucario. I kind of have to close combat the Milotic here, right? I'm going to protect. I'm going to protect, Luc Lu protect with Lucario. Because <sighs> Lucario is going to be the only one that can touch this Milotic. Suicune can deal with the other two. It's not going to enjoy it because I have leftovers instead of a nice berry on it. I should have... I, Suicune with a berry would probably be better than Leftover Suicune, I think. Especially one without Protect. We're going to see Recover on my Lodic. So it recovers this little bit of baby HP that it did lose. The yeah, Arcanine goes for Will-O-Wisp into the Lucario, though. Get Tailwind up. Like, I really want to close combat this Milotic. Or even close combat and scald the Arcanine just to get rid of that. But then, like, if my Lotta goes for Scald and Lucario and gets the burn, then then that's a problem. Because Scald by itself does not KO this Arcanine, unfortunately. Uh, it might. No. Probably won't. I'm going to close combat the Ar my Lotta. I could have Extreme Speed Arcanine, I guess. Let's see how much damage this does at minus one. Still does over 50%. That's not bad, Lucario, my dude. But he probably just faints here. He probably gets doubled into, to be honest. 50% on that Arcanine. Not bad either. Skull does go into Lucario. Even that's almost enough to KO. And it does burn me. Piss. Arcanine will is just to make sure I do get burned. And yeah, Lucario is not amazing. I mean, that did a lot of damage for being minus one. So I'm not upset by that by any means. If this is extreme speed Arcanine, we just faint to that. But I try and KO the Milotic here. If he's... He, he either has extreme speed on our canine, or he switches the Milotic into Garchomp, though, and just guarantees that he wins. Because I can't do anything to Milotic with Suicune. And he has Recover, whereas I don't. Milotic just protects, though. That's another safe play. That's another safe play. Yep. Nothing. Skull from Suicune will KO the Arcanine, which is nice. But now Lucario just faints the burn. And burn being reduced this generation actually kind of helped us there. Not really, though. Because, um... Why? Because then the Milotic couldn't just recover this turn. If I would have fainted to burn last turn, then the Milotic could have just recovered there. But now I have a chance to crit scald. Which I won't do, but... You never know. And I don't even think a crit skull will get my Lottic from this range, unfortunately. We're going to see Dragon Claw come up from Garchomp. He's not going to scarf himself in the Earthquake like a moron. I really wish he would have. And that a second Dragon Claw is probably just going to KO me anyway. Yep, even a crit from Scald wouldn't have KO'd my Lottic, unfortunately. And he's just going to recover. It's his best play. I don't fault him for it. I don't fault him for it. Did Tailwind Peter out? Is the yeah? It's just another case where Choice Scarf Guard Chomp's just out speeding. My bulky water type. I really got to start remembering to put enough speed EVs on my bulky water type that under Tailwind they're able to KO Guard Chomp. Because that was the problem with my uh, Swampert on the last team is even under Tailwind it wasn't out speeding normal uh, Guard Chomp. And I could have at least got one more KO there, but. Because Tailwind was gone, my lord was able to outspeed. On Fort. On Fort. We are going to do one more match, though. So Lucario has one more chance. One more chance to redeem himself. He's doing okay. I think Mega Lucario is just one of those okay Pokemon in doubles. In singles, he's amazing. Because he only has to worry about one Pokemon targeting him. So his uh, frail defenses aren't as bad because his speed and his attack overcome that. But in doubles... 
you have to kind of hope you have something to hit one of those Pokemon to be able to KO it. And also, you don't have to you have to worry about the second Pokemon coming after you and taking care of you after that, so. And a lot of it, I think, is just poor um, prediction on my part and poor use of Luc Mega Lucario. I don't think I use it very well, but I also don't think it's amazing in doubles use. That's why you don't see it very often. Because it does just take care of Mega Kangaskhan, but Mega Kangaskhan has that versatility. It has the power and the bulk and the speed. Not It doesn't have the same speed and power as Lucario, but it's got enough to be able to defend for itself. Plus, it has defense, so it doesn't just go away right away. 50, another 1500 rated player, Omar from Mexico. With... Ooh! K. Interesting. Another sand team, but... This time, no Pokemon get hurt by the sand. It is Dawnfan, Skarmory... Lycanroc Midnight Form, Hippowdon, Tyranitar, and Garchomp. So I assume this one is going to be Mega Garchomp because it's specifically a Sand team. It's a very strange team to have. But um, I, oh, I was going to say the only Pokemon I have to hit Skarmory is Salazzle, but I could actually use Tapu Koko for that. So Tapu Koko, possibly Swoobat, Mega Lucario, and Suicune. I think we use the same team. But this time I'm going to lead with Lucario. And Suicune. We'll have Tapu Koko and Swoobat in the back, right? No, I think, actually, let's have Suicune in the back. That way we have a switching kind of instance. I think Suicune would be a really good lead, but I also want the option to be able to switch into something if I don't like his lead. I don't know. I don't know. It's weird logic, it sounds like, but I, I kind of like this. Because Swoobat gives us a nice Earthquake switch in, and Suicune is just a good switch in because it can take hits. That's my think, my thought process behind this. But if I led Suicune, I would need switch. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Plus, I don't have Volt Switch on the Stop of Coco, which kind of makes me sad, but... It powed on Scare Armory, so he goes with the... The, uh... The thing I didn't want to actually see. We do get Mega Lucario Tapu Coco out here. So Skarmory, I don't expect to stay in. Just because Tapu Koko is here. And I think he's going to actually try and double into my Tapu Koko. Well, not double. I think just Hippowdon is going to Earthquake. Because it's super effective against both these Pokemon. So what I'm actually going to do here. I could just double into Hippowdon and get rid of it. Pull a double switch. My hair. <laughs> anyway. Um... I do need to keep my Tapu Koko alive because it's really the only thing hitting the Skarmory is the only thing. It's the only thing hitting the Skarmory is the only thing. Um, so I'm going to switch Swoobat in, I th think. Actually, I'm going to double switch here. I was going to leave Tapu Koko in to threaten the Skarmory, but I don't really think I need to threaten the Skarmory. I don't know. Skarmory probably has Tailwind, Brave Bird, Iron Head Protect, maybe Roost somewhere in there. I'm hoping it's not like a spice stealth rock set, that'd be something else. But you never know. So my Suicune comes in, it's going to be taking an Earthquake and it's not going to enjoy that, but he'll enjoy it better than Tapu Koko would have. And then Lucario switches out for Swoobat, who's going to get the plus two in defense, plus be immune to an Earthquake. Skarmory just goes straight for Roost here! Does that mean it still gets hit? No. Because it didn't lose any HP, it doesn't get hit by that Earthquake. That's a really strange thing to do with your Skarmory. Because that means it would have healed its health and then been hit again by another Earthquake. So, I don't know, dude. Do you, though. And so Suicune ate up that Earthquake. Because I don't think this hit bad on very invested. I don't think it's invested too much. So I am going to call mine a Swoobat. I'm going to start setting up the Swoobat. And we're going to Scald the Skarmory. We're going to see if we can get him to Roost Earthquake himself again. He won't do it this turn, just because he doesn't need to. He's not afraid of Tapu Koko here. Tapu Koko might have actually been able to take that Earthquake, just by how well Suicune took it. So I get to Calm Mind with the Swoobat. We get the Scald into the Skarmory. If we can burn him, that'd be awesome. Burn? Yep. Perfect. That's going to help us survive those hits better. It is a Stealth Rock Skarmory. Okay. Okay, dude. He does break any sashes I could possibly have. Oh, Ice Fang on Hippowdon. That's going to hurt a little bit. Don't freeze me. Thank you, Lord. Uh, 
I just really hope this isn't Whirlwind Skarmory now. I'm kind of thinking he doesn't have Protect on this thing if he went for Roost. I'm thinking this is a person that, that is just trying out doubles for the first time, doesn't really know what it's all about. So we're going to take advantage of that, and we're going to scald this hip out on, hopefully burn that thing too, so it can not be ice faking my Swoobat for so much damage. Please and thank you. Actually, you know what draw the hip out on for Tyranitar? No, Garchomp. Boy, it's a shiny Garchomp too. Ooh. Another Calm Mind on our Swoobat. Um, it'll just be if this Skarmory has Whirlwind or not is going to be the problem. Sandvale! Roar, Skarmory! Even better. Okay, it roared out my Suicune. That's fine. Top of Coco. Lucario. Not as good. So, obviously, that Roar Skarmory is going to be an issue. But I'm just going to double into Garchomp here. Especially because it's Sandvale Garchomp. If he does Mega Evolve it for some reason, cool. If not, then oops. Then oops, we might miss a few times, but we are a plus four um, special attack. Subat using stored power with plus four special defense, plus two defense. It is a Mega Garchomp, so he's automatically going to get slower, and he no longer has Sand Veil, which actually helps us, as long as he doesn't protect here. The Mega Lucario... Which, Mega Lucario is faster than Mega Garchomp, but normal Lucario is slower than Garchomp, so it's a weird weird trade-off when we Mega Evolve here, so I am faster now. Close combat. Actually, does a ton of damage to that Garchomp, which is nice. And then Stored Power will pick up the KO there. We've got to get some use of our boosts before Skarmory gets rid of me. There goes Garchomp. Roar from Skarmory. Gonna get rid of Swoobat, yep. Because I'm all boosted up. I'm surprised he didn't do that earlier. Tapu Koko gets to come in, which instantly threatens the uh, Skarmory. I'm assuming um, Hippowdon comes in here. I'm assuming the Hippowdon comes in here. I could actually just KO the Skarmory right now. Hippowdon does come in. So I we couldn't be able to take on the hit pad on. So I just uh actually do I even worry about the I'm gonna hit power ice and close combat this hit pad on. Like Suicune can deal with both these Pokemon, so I'm really not worried about either one of them. Yeah, he doesn't have protect. Ooh, that puts him at fifty. Close combat might be able to get him. Or under fifty actually. Lucario! Lucario! So no more hit pout on. And Skarmory does actually roost here, so he would have earthquaked himself again. He would have earthquaked himself again. But because he's burned, he can no longer have sturdy, so I can just thunderbolt him at any point. And actually, I could do that right this next turn. Depending on what the last Pokemon is. If it's Tyranitar, I just body it. Unfortunately, the terrain does go away, but I don't think we need it to take out, take out a Skarmory. What's the last Pokemon going to be? I mean, if it's either Lycanroc, Tyranitar, or Donphan. Donphan would be the worst problem, but I think he didn't bring Donphan because he brought Hippowdon. It's going to be Lycanroc. Shiny Lycanroc. Look at that boy. Look at that hedgehog-looking mofo. All right, let's Thunderbolt the Skarmory now. And just close combat. The Lycanroc. Able to pull out that last win. I mean, look. Like I said, I think my opponent is pretty new to the doubles battle spot, or maybe accidentally went to doubles battle spot instead of singles. Because he's got the idea of a sand team, but it doesn't transfer well into doubles at this point. Not having protect really hurts. Uh, the Stealth Rock Roar Skarmory isn't great in doubles. Stealth Rock, it's, uh, Field Hazards just aren't great in doubles in general, because you're not switching very often. The Roar does help you with that cause, but then you're just wasting a turn doing that where the other Pokemon can be attacked. Oh, it's Focus Ash. Um, the other Pokemon can be attacking you. Is this Focus Ash counter Lycanroc? Is this Focus Ash counter Lycanroc? 
it is focused Ash counter like in Rock. So he's able to pick up the KO on Lucario there because of that, but that's fine. A little too little too late. Too little too late. So I'm gonna bring in Swoobat. And I'll let Swoobat do the dirty here. Little pigtail. And pointed stones do a lot to these flying types, which actually could be really nice. Especially like uh, Volcarona, I think, is pretty popular right now. So that does 50% to a Volcarona. If people are using Talonflame, it does 50% to that. Um, Charizards take 50%. So it can be helpful, but not always the best option, I guess. I don't know. Maybe I'll play around with hazards this season. Who knows? Who knows? But we are able to defeat the sand, the second sand team with Swoobat. And we take those wins. So, anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining us. Again, if you have any team suggestions for further future teams, be sure to leave them in the comment section below. Also, this is part of the microphone, guys. It's not like a weird growth on my neck. But, um, also, like and subscribe if you have not already. Otherwise, we'll see you next week with a new team, guys. Stay sharp, everyone.